How long have you guys been waiting out for? Come on in. Shut up and sit down. Oh, I know the problem. Got to unplug the MAF sensor. I've extended the wires. All right. Show you one more time without the pedal. With the pedal. By the seat. And I want to die in here starting this thing up with the garage door closed. But, must do it for the BMW. We're gonna look over here. We can see the TPS, the throttle position sensor. There's one here to measure the angle of the throttle bodies. And this lever here is connected to the throttle body actuator. There's a, there's a plug here that gives it power. It's just two wires. And then this also has a sensor here to measure the angle of this so this is all connected in one sensing here and sensing there notice that this has two wires for the power and ground you can see the color of the we'll have a close-up of that and this a signal has three so voltage a ground and a signal wire in this particular case for the TPS on the throttle body actuator, the purple one is signal. I have tapped it to this wire here because we're having difficulty finding the issue is. So now we're going to go inside the vehicle and go over the code. The main problem we have is that there are no lights. So we don't know if there's a check engine light whenever we clear it. But we, every time we clear it, the, the check engine light um, always comes back on automatically because of this sensor. It was circuit D and circuit E for the TPS that we had issues with. Here we have the, the MAF sensor. So the reason why it wasn't starting earlier was because this was plugged in. 
and this is supposed to measure the amount of air going into the engine. The intake manifold from previous videos, we can see now it fits. We're going to look for the OBD2 port in the vehicle. It's right here. I had this custom harness made for the ECU, which is just in the back there. We'll show a photo of that. There is the OBD2 port. I will now grab from my scanner. And if we take a look, we got power. So let's just start through this. I don't have I don't have these plugged in. So this is goes into the gauges to give me the appropriate vehicle speed. Vehicle speed and also the engine speed. This started up now, let's check it out. We're gonna press OK. Diagnose. That's fine. We're gonna go through. It's all fail. But I asked my I asked I asked my Honda guy. He said that's fine because the last one always passes. Oh, most importantly, you gotta make sure you turn the key on. Let's not. Uh, we're professionals here. There we go. Now it's good. Trust. Last one, last one. Okay, baby. Now we're in. Diagnostic trouble codes D, T, C, S in this ECU. So it detects four error codes. Code. So let's press OK. We're going to go to read codes. So there's a total of eight codes. This one is switch D for the throttle pedal position. We have the P2127, which is throttle pedal position center switch E. I'll have all the codes in this timestamp in the description. So please refer to that. Skipped one there. Number three, mass or volume airflow. So that's when we unplug it. We have it unplugged and that's why this is coming up. So this one goes away when we have it plugged in. Um, P2184. So uh, number three is P0102. P2184 number four engine coolant temperature sensor number two circuit low. This is another one, P2122, that is the throttle position sensor, switch D. We got switch E, another mass airflow, and the engine coolant temperature, last one. So what we're going to do, quickly go outside, and we'll plug in the mass sensor. I'll be right back. Good thing about editing, right? Oh, almost crushed the pedal. So the pedal doesn't work. That's that's why in the beginning I was kind of doing that. It doesn't work. You can see it's in position two on the key and it should be working right now, but it's not. Here is the gas pedal. It is an electronic gas pedal, but this is the pedal position sensor. This is a custom harness I bought off good old eBay. This is for the electronic accelerator, which is the gas pedal. We're going to plug this in here. And before you plug anything, always make sure you know how to take it out. There's two, there's two tabs, one on here. You just press the other side here. So you press them together. You can kind of see the pink little thing move in there the locking mechanism. You don't want your gas pedal coming undone when you're driving. So if we follow this wire, it goes to this, this wire here, we're going to follow it. It goes under the box and it branches into one of these 
looms. This is all the wiring. This is all the wiring for the ECU. The ECU is this, this silver box over here. Take a look. Let's get this wire out of the way. The silver box here is the ECU, the engine control unit, and all the wires get plugged into there. These are wires from all the sensors. All the power you need to control the engine. So the timing, the fuel, that's all going to be in the ECU. And whatever doesn't, whatever's all black is whatever custom harness I got off eBay. So this one is the big one here. You can see it's connected to all of this stuff. Whenever you do a swap like this, make sure you get, this is the fuel pump relay and another important relay that you have to buy separately. You have to find this.